So I'll just show you something my mate uh, educated me about that I had no idea. Uh, so I've just got the link software open. Um, what I've heard some guys who are inexperienced at this stuff, like me, when I first started out, um, was they just didn't really understand what having a modern aftermarket ECU, what, how much information it can give you and how to use that information. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file and open. Uh, I'm going to open the tune that's in my ECU. Uh, if you can have a look here, I've actually got heaps. Like every time I make a change, I... Uh, so like all these... All these in here, apart from these base maps, are all changes I've made as I've gone. So this one's the latest one that is in the ECU. You can also go up here, go to ECU controls, go down and uh, you log into the ECU. Where is it? Oh yeah, up here, connect to ECU. You would connect to the ECU up here. It says it's connected. And then what you do is... Uh, you save. Oh, yeah. So you go here. Go save as. And you're saving a copy of the file in your ECU. Uh, from your ECU onto your computer. It's really good to do that so that if you make some changes, you've got a copy of that to revert back to. If I go here and I open up and I go here and I scroll down and okay, so uh, right here is the file straight off the dyno. Um, these two files are also straight off the dyno, but my the guy who tuned my car, password protected it, which I was a bit disappointed about. Uh, but he gave me the password and I was able to adjust things. Uh, so if you log into your ECU and it says password protected, that's something people used to do a long time ago because uh, tuning was a very specialised uh, practice and... People see their work, uh, tuners see their work as intellectual property. Um, so that's why they want to protect it. So they put a password on it. So anyway, um, so I've loaded up my tune. And then what we want to do is, uh, so this is, this is something that not a people, a lot of people who are new know about. So what you do is you create a log. So uh, if you go up the top there, logging, and you, with the ECU connected, obviously, you hit record and you go for a drive around with your laptop. Uh, I guess before that, you should do this setup logging. So I'll go into there so you can see. So here on the left is all the parameters you can add. And here are all the parameters that I have logged. Now, what that does is, so let's open a log file. So say we want to do this. We've loaded our tune file. It's very important that you're using the correct tune file that suits the log that you're logging. There's no use going in here. Sorry, I'm at work, so the sun's beaming into my office at the moment um so if we go up here and we go file open and say instead of this one here which is the latest one these two above are ones i've made changes to and i haven't uploaded or tried them on the ecu but say i used one down here where i hadn't finished tuning the closed loop boost i loaded that into the software now and then I opened up a log file, so open log file, 
and say I used, oh look, maybe a speeding fine. So say I use this recent log file here, the tune file actually suits like some of these logs down here. So uh, one thing to note about logging is you need the correct tune file to match the log. Uh, I wish there was an easier way that they would do it with the software, but it it isn't. So there isn't the way Link does it. Um, okay, so let's open up our log file. We'll use this. Uh, so basically, I went past a speed camera uh, doing well above the speed limit uh, because I was testing the car and I thought I was going to lose my job do driving for a living at the moment, uh, but thankfully I didn't. So we've got our log file open, and then up the top here you've got these pages. So, uh, hang on, I mean, so up the top here you've got these pages, right? It's, this one was one, and all these others were what the tuner did. I actually have made my own, like, so when I was tuning the closed loop boost, this was one I made myself. Uh, and this has a time plot in it. And this is the probably the most important thing. Uh, and so in my time plot, you can see here I've got um, a wheel speed, engine speed, uh, throttle position. Now, for whatever reason, there's no data in the log for that. So it obviously didn't log that. I'll have to go back and check that. Uh, manifold pressure, boost target, duty cycle, all these, right? And in fact, if I wanted to add something else, I just right click on it, I go to properties. This brings up the time plot properties and you can have different groups. So you can see here, I've got my uh, map. Let's actually change the color on that. So if we go down here, we go edit and we'll change that to red we'll make it pink so there we go so i've got my uh what the actual manifold pressure is and what the boost target was uh in that one and then in this group here we've got pid uh, for the closed loop boost if you're wondering what closed loop boost is i made a video that's hopefully easy to understand uh it's just a better way of, of doing boost, but you do need to have open loop, which is a more simple version. Uh, you need to have that tuned correctly first. So anyway, uh, so that's what I use. So this is how you look at a log and you can, you can like highlight an area and zoom in. So here I was trying to see, for example, here, I was, so I was trying to hit my boost target of 200 overall KPA. So take a hundred off that for atmosphere. So a hundred KPA. So basically I was trying to hit 14 PSI and you can press left and right and go through the drive as you drove and you can see at when I hit the maximum boost, which was 144 kPa. My target was 180. My engine was at 3000 RPM. And then all the other things. So uh, intake air temperature was 30 degrees, um, et cetera, et cetera. So that's how you use a log. Man, that's how you use a log. That's how you load your ECU file. Uh, now, the next thing I wanted to show you was this. So, um, I was talking about putting some cams in my engine and then not having the car tuned uh, until a little bit later. And so... What I was going to do, uh, or what you can do rather, is, so this is a page called Mixture Map. You need your ECU tune file and you need a log, 
right? And what you do is, it says here, right click to update map. So if I right click and update the mixture map, this gives you a heat map and, oh, sorry, you need a tune file, you need a log, and you need a oxygen sensor, a wideband O2 sensor. This is a Link Fury. It has it on board. Um, but with my WRX that I'm doing, you can get a CAN Lambda unit, and it will do the same thing. Now, when the tuner tuned it, he gave it these targets. So uh, a target air fuel ratio of... 0 0.92 in this cell here the actual target was only 0.8 and then this cell here the target was 0 0.95 and it actually got 1.06 these are targets again as i say the tuner will set and what you can do is you can go for a drive and log and there's a couple of things that you have to watch out for because there's corrections going on in the background. Uh, but basically, you can go like this, right-click on it, and see here where it says Update Mixture Map? If I click on that, boom, it'll, it'll change the target to... Uh, Actually, so it will it change the target? Hang on, no, it won't change the target. What it does is it updates the cells in your fuel table to give you more accurate target versus uh, actual result. Basically, it's updating this table to give you like a better uh, fuel. A better fuel map so this is the, your your fueling map that your engine runs off so for a certain manifold pressure at a certain rpm this is the amount of fuel that your engine gives it so uh and this was the game changing thing that my mate showed me so we don't necessarily want to worry about these cells that are like at negative 60 or negative 80 uh kpa but these ones up here, this yellow one, this one here, this one here, because as you can see, so actual was 0.98 and the target was 0.89. So the error was 0.009. These good cells, which are all green, see the error was only 0 0.03, 0 0.00, 0 0.03. So that error is in a uh, respectable range. So the engine is expecting a certain value and the error is how far off it's by. Uh, so, yeah, you, you do have to watch out for engine coolant temperature corrections. So you need to get your engine up to uh, operating temperature. And you have to be careful of intake air temperature corrections. Uh, because that what can happen is you can update this cell... And then the correction, you know, it might, the air intake temperature might heat up because you haven't got it heat, the engine heated up enough. Uh, and so then you'll just be for fighting with the engine's own corrections to uh, try and get a more accurate value in this, as this target in this cell for this RPM versus manifold pressure. So that's, I've still got to learn a bit more about this. And uh, I guess once I've done some testing, um, let me just load, I'll load a map, sorry, a log that I took from the ECU just before. Oh, there it is there. So let me just right click, update mixture map. Okay, so now see how it's totally different. This is from a different log. Um, 
one thing to note is you don't just, and this is what I first thought, was you don't just take any old log and, you know, just correct a bunch of these cells. You need to get the engine up to operating temperature, switch on logging, uh, drive smoothly so some of your corrections aren't faltering, like changing your data on you. And then you can go in and you can update these cells. Some of this stuff you don't worry about. Uh, Chris mentioned this one here. Uh, no, this one here. Well, maybe both of those, but basically some of the red ones um, in certain areas on the map. So, yeah, I think it was here. Minus 40... No, minus 61,000. No, maybe over here. Well, yeah, this one here. This was an error of 1.19. Um, what was the target? Target was 0.89, and it actually got 2.08. So there is a way to use this correctly. Uh, if you can suggest how you use this, if you're a bit more experienced than I am, uh, this is why... I do this because I want to learn about this stuff. But uh, yeah, if any of this was helpful to you, give me a like. Um, if you want to see any more future videos like this that you might find useful, click subscribe because I'll make some more of these dodgy videos when I've got time in my office and elsewhere. And uh, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. And... Uh, yeah, good luck with your ECU.